Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, we've got some changes to some new cruise ports opening up, new destinations in the Caribbean is finally starting, and we also have changes to protocols once again, this time from Holland America. Okay, let's start off with Holland America. Just the other day I announced that Disney is saying that as a certain date you will have to have a vaccinated for children ages 5 to 11. So they will be now part of that vaccinated protocol now that it's widely available in the United States. You can go to any pharmacy and you can start your protocol. You have to have had two doses of the Pfizer and you have to have been the second dose for over 14 days. And then the kids are now covered under that vaccine protocol, which means some ships you don't have to wear a mask. You know what I mean. You can go to venues, you don't have to wear a mask. It's easier for the kids that way as far as enjoyment of a cruise is concerned. And it also counts in that big number of how many vaccinated passengers now are on the ship. And the more you hit close to that 95% mark, the more protocols can be eased on the cruise ship. So we're hoping that this really kind of jumps those numbers. And to kind of celebrate this, the uh, Holland America has certain sailings available now all the way, I believe, until the end of April uh, that you can kid sail free. You can book that cruise and there other than I think taxes and port fees are usually still included in that, but your overall uh, cruise fare for the children are free. Uh, so look for those cruises going on right now with Holland America. And even their brand new ship, the Rotterdam, is included. They have sailings on that ship, a brand new one from Holland America. Their most sought after ship right now has sailings for free for children. So look for those deals if you're interested in going back to Holland America and your kids will be fully vaccinated. Uh, yeah, what better time than when you don't have to pay for them to get on the ship. Some good news out of Jamaica. Jamaica just had its best week so far since the reopening of cruise lines with six ships arriving in the same week. Jamaica is not a huge major destination on a lot of stops. It comes, uh, I think, out of every five or six cruises that you see sailing out of Florida. Only one would be ending up in Jamaica. So it, it is a slower percentage, but they are building up more and more ships starting to sail. And they actually had six in one week, which is their record. Speaking of Caribbean ports that are opening, another good one that's opening up is Turk and Caicos now is opening up in December. We'll start receiving their first cruise ships in time for the holidays, which is good news for the cruise lines, which means they have another destination that they can start spreading the passengers out and uh, with more and more ships starting up every month, it seems now, it's great to have more and more destinations that they're able to go. Turk and Caicos, another opening. Uh, Jamaica becoming very, very popular. Uh, Cozumel, Mexico is now at pre-pandemic levels with the amount of visitors going there. And finally, I have news on the Bahamas. That's right, the Bahamas, which also includes all the private islands, like the majority of the private islands for the cruise lines, are on Bahama-owned <laughs> uh, islands. So the good news is the CDC and the travel industry has just downgraded them, if you will. Is it that an out downgrade or an upgrade? In either case, they're going from a level four, do not travel at any time, to a level three, should reconsider travel, which is far better than a do not travel warning. One thing the insurances will cover should not travels, but have a harder time covering do not travel warnings from the industry. So that can change your your insurance and start making insurance a lot easier for travel to those destinations, whether you're going by cruise ship or you're flying there or just heading there for any reason whatsoever. Uh, good news, down from level four to level three, which by the way is the same level right now that cruise ships are on. 
they're no longer on do not travel at well like sorry unless you're from Canada because our government hasn't changed a thing in 18 months it's been do not do this do not do this do not do this for 18 months uh, they have yet to lower or change any restriction anywhere as far as their rating is concerned uh, so yeah United States at least you went to a level three for cruise ships now which is again good news because insurance companies like here in Canada Manulife insurance is now covering COVID and cruise ships in their insurance once again you should be able to find your insurance a little bit easier now that it is down to a level three for cruise ships so a little bit of good news is things are opening up and we're starting to get cruising and things are going better so yeah a great way to start off the week well i hope you appreciate this little update if you did please give it a thumbs up we'll see more tips more tricks more travel vlogs from around the world maybe hit that subscribe button with the notification bell on really helps the channel out you'll be up to date with all things news cruise and everything that you just might find interesting about sailing the seven seas and until next time have yourself a safe and a great vacation